Now, I know what people mean when they say, I wish I knew then what I knew now. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. It probably saved me a whole lot of pain and suffering, that's for sure. But I guess in the whole scheme of things, it's part of God's plan. And all we can do is just roll with it. Because when it comes right down to it, God's running the whole show anyways. And ain't nothing we can do to change that. Believe me, I've tried. He say go left, not go right. He say slow down, not smash on the gas. I wasn't trying to hear nothing he had to say. Maybe that's why I had to go through all this. Maybe that's why things had to happen the way they did. Someone once told me that God sometimes needs to use extreme measures to deal with extreme circumstances. Guess I was one of those extreme circumstances. Sometimes I feel like God took me all the way around the block just to get me next door. I've seen and experienced a whole lot in my short time on the surf. Loved, laughed, cried, won, lost. Through it all, I can honestly say I don't have too many regrets. It's been a long, long road, man. Let me tell you. Better yet, let me show you. Let me take you all the way back to the beginning, when life was a little easier. Well, sort of. Look, y'all really need to tighten up your money game, man. Stop playing around. Start thinking about your future, you feel me? Yo, Miles, what's there to think about? We make money, then we spend it, and then we make some more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this is a joke, man. Yo, this ain't no game, man. I spend half my time just looking at all the angles, covering all my tracks, so I ain't got no problems with the IRS or nobody else. What, you think I don't get noticed? Young dude in a $300,000 car, million-dollar home, and mommy, daddy ain't nowhere in sight? Write a check, man. <laughs> Use a credit card once in a while, you feel me? All right, now, let's get this money. All right, man, check this out. Miles ain't no more, partner. I feel you, man. I'm in it to win it. There's my cash right here. I'll do it. What y'all got? You're popping. Yeah. I'll... Not light, not light. All right, it's all here. It's looking good. So listen, man, we're gonna come back here tonight, chop it up, have a few drinks, celebrate a little bit, you know? Do what we do. Y'all go ahead and get out of here, man. I'll see y'all later. Quick, you looking a little light, too, over here, man. You hey, sure man. this is 75? <laughs> Is that you, Caesar? No, it's me, Ma. Miles? What a surprise, baby. What are you doing here? I just came by, put some paperwork in the safe. I'll be right back, OK? All right, sweetie. Cooking on. Oh, some spaghetti. Looks good. Mm-hmm. I've always wanted to go there. <laughs> what, Sandals Resort? So why don't you go? Sure. Like it's that easy. We're not all millionaires like you, mister. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. So, how you doing, baby? I'm good. In fact, I'm extra good. Extra good, yeah. huh? Well, Mr. Extra Good, when are you gonna give me a grandchild, huh, mister? Yeah, you go talking about these grandkids. Look, Ma, I told you, don't be expecting no grandkids anytime soon. You need to come to church with me and find yourself a good woman there. <laughs> church, huh? What, Miles? You act like you weren't raised in church. I took you every Sunday. Yeah, I was bored every Sunday, too, though, Ma. I mean, I'm sorry, but the music was horrible, the service was gloomy, all those painted pictures in the glass and them spooky little statues all over the place. I don't know. Miles. I mean, really, think about it, Ma. 
Why do you think I really got up on Sundays to go to church? Because I knew we'd go to that brunch afterwards. And you know I love that buffet. Oh, <laughs> you go light a candle for that one, Miles Montego. <laughs> because if I have to start making you go, you know I will. Mm -hmm. Okay? You know that uh -huh, I will. I know. Because you have a lot to be grateful for. I guess. I tell you what, though. What? If you find one of those nice young ladies down at your church, uh -huh. you give them my number and tell them I'm down for whatever. For oh, whatever, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Mwah. Love you, Ma. All right, love you too, honey. All right, I'm gonna go on and go, but um, tell Dad I said hello, and I'll, I'll holler at him later, okay? Holla. Uh, what is holla, Miles? See you later, Ma. <laughs> Have a seat, gentlemen. You know what these are? These are time and expense sheets for the Montego case. And you guys spent way more time and money than I ever authorized. Sir, we believe very strongly that this crew is one of the biggest operating in this region, with ties to several other states. This guy lives in a house that's worth more than all of our houses put together. One of his dozen cars is worth more than all of our cars combined. He wears what we make in a year on his wrist. So, we're working on this one around the clock, Chief. Well, you ought to stop right there. Because that's your problem. You're working around the clock. Now, around the clock costs this office a lot of money. So what now? We're going to put a price tag on justice? This conversation is over. I want a full progress and status report on my desk by the morning. And I'll decide whether or not to shut it down. I've never gotten the game Cause when they get my first hit Everything finna change The whips and slang with Come on, come on, out of the way, man! You in a hurry today, son? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Yeah? Yeah, you're probably right. Driver's license, registration, or proof of insurance. <sighs> All right, gentlemen, listen up. And ladies, let me tell you what we got today. First up, we got Percy Taylor, AKA Peabody. He's the muscle of this crew that we've been keeping an eye on for some time. Next up, we have Martin De La Fuente. He is best friends with the leader of this crew. And you can be sure wherever you see the leader, you will see Mr. De La Fuente not too far behind. Next, we have Taylor Delmonico, better known as Wiki. <laughs> I know, I know, I agree with you. He's got a stupid name, but don't be fooled. He's just as dangerous as the rest of this crew. Next up, Chris Mayer. Now, this guy is the number one moneymaker for these guys. Don't let his baby face fool you either. Last but not least, we got the leader of this crew, Miles Montego. We have reason to believe this guy is the biggest drug trafficker in all of Northern California, which is exactly why we want to nail this guy. 
He's smart, he's rich, and he's good looking. But I don't necessarily think I'd want him marrying off to my daughter. <laughs> All right, listen up. All kidding aside, this entire crew is considered to be armed and very, very dangerous. The way they work is very tight and efficient, and they do not like anyone coming between them and their money. Money, baby! Money. Yo, let me get another round of those. Hey, yo, Miles, let me holler at you right quick, dog. What's happening? Yo, man, check this out, dog. I know you don't like to hear this kind of stuff no more, and I get that, dog. I do. But your boy Jesse, you owe me a whole lot of loot, dog. You've been giving me the run around for like the past two, three weeks, homie. All right, Marty. This is the last time. Like I told you before, man, I don't want to hear nothing about no what, when, why, none of that. You feel me? I feel you, boss. I'm serious about this, man. Nick. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm hanging in. Not as good as you. You got to learn to leave some of that cash around so some of us can make some. Ah, stop it, man. Anyway, look, it's the 4th of July weekend, and I got a real great group of people coming over. I got steaks from Argentina, I got lobsters from Maine. All I need is for you to come by and hang out, so I don't feel like I only know old people. Sounds good, Nick. You know what? I think I'm gonna take you up on that. Yeah, so you're gonna come by? I'll probably shoot over there in about an hour. Okay, good. I'll see you in a bit then, okay? All right, cool. Okay, good. Oh, Miles, my on? youngest and coolest friend in the world. You made it, man. Yep. Hey. hey, everybody, I told you I got cool friends. This is Miles. Hey, get out of here. I'm trying to get like you when I get older. Oh, who you calling? Yeah, you put it on the loop, man. Put it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who you with? I'm solo today. Solo? Well, just don't let money run your life, Miles. Otherwise, you're going to end up like these guys out here. It looks like they doing all right to me. I'm serious, Miles. I'm asking one of these guys to pass the chips, and he wants to ask me what the marker closed at yesterday. Come on, man. Get a life. I used to be the same way, Miles. My career almost cost me my family, and it got to the point where me and Karen, we didn't know each other anymore. She said the only thing that kept us together was answered prayers from a church group. So I had to commit to going to church every Sunday as a family and one date night a week. I never figured you to be a religious guy, Nick. Well, we really don't like that word religious, Miles. It's kind of like the word margin call in the stock market. I prefer man of faith. All right, guys, food is ready. Oh, let's eat. So can we all gather around and have a word of prayer before we eat? First, I'd like to thank you all for coming to our home today. We are so thankful and blessed to have such wonderful people in our lives and so happy that you were able to come over and join. Honey, could you um, get to the prayer? I mean, this is not the Oscars. Everybody stop. <laughs> well, I was just about to thank my wonderful husband okay. for putting this all together, but I guess I'll just get straight to the point. Dear Father, thank you for this glorious day. It's easy to believe in you, to have faith in you, when we're blessed with such beautiful weather, such delicious food, but most importantly, for the friends and family that we have joining us to enjoy this today. For this and more, we give you thanks. Amen. 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 Oh, that's Vanessa. She goes to Bible study every week with my wife. Bible study, huh? Mm, Bible study. She come over a lot. Come on. <laughs> Miles! Hey, ladies, how you doing? I'd like to introduce you to some of my girlfriends from Bible study. This is Sherry. Hey, Miles. And May Lynn. Nice to meet you. And Sarah. Pleasure to meet you, Miles. You as well. And then there's Vanessa. Hi, how are you? How are you? I'm good. Miles is a very cool name. Thank you. <laughs> Can I get my hand back before I oh. call 911? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's cool. <laughs> Dad, watch this! So how do you know the Holston family? You know Nick's my broke and my money guy, so we hang out from time to time. So young and into stocks. 
So, how do you know Nick and Karen? We actually all go to the same church and Bible study. Okay, so you go to church on Sundays then? Yes, sir. Every Sunday. So, uh, what was your religion again? I guess I'm Christian, but you know, we don't really like to call it that. Right, right. You like to say, uh, men of faith. Well, in your case, it would be women of faith. Exactly. So you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? Well, yeah, doesn't everybody? What church do you attend? Oh, well, right now I'm kind of in between churches. Between churches, huh? Yeah. In between churches. All right, well, what was the name of the last church you attended? I really don't remember, <laughs> but... I'm sure I could call my mom and she, you know. You are so playing with me right now, Mr. Miles. All right, you caught me. But I do go to church on Easter Sundays with my mom. And on Christmas, I mean, if that counts for anything. <laughs> Look, I grew up in a Catholic church, but, you know, I, I don't know. I, I never really stuck with it. I think I just didn't feel comfortable in my church. Well, you should find a church you do feel comfortable at and stick with it. We shut this joint down, didn't we? We sure did. So you think somewhere between um school and saving the world, you make a little time so I can see you again? Please, smile, smile. It's not that serious. But yes, I'd love to. Okay. Give me your phone. Okay, here we go. I got a good idea. How about we not play the who could wait the longest to call who game? Yeah, I don't like that game either. Okay, I got a better one. How about we play the Who Could Call Who first game? Ah, see, I'm into that. I'm into that, <laughs> too. Yo, it's definitely time yeah. for me to go. So, uh, I guess uh, I'll be talking to you tomorrow, soon. <laughs> Not if I talk to you first. Good morning, Vanessa. Aren't we quite the busy bee at 6 a.m.? <laughs> You're awake? Ain't no question. I mean, my days usually start at 5 a.m. anyway, so. 5 a.m.? What are you, like a baker? Nah, you know, I deal a lot with the East Coast, so time difference gets me up. Okay, big shot. So, how about it? You wanna come to church with me today? You know what? I got a gang of stuff I gotta get done by tomorrow. But I'll definitely take a rain check on it if, if that's all right with you. Of course. Um, yeah, anytime. Well, I actually gotta run right now, but maybe we could talk later? How about we leave the maybes out of this and just get together after we done doing what we both gotta do? to flaunt all that money around town, but he gets the pretty girls, too. Is that a little jealousy I'm sensing, McDaniel? Oh, no, it's not jealousy. 
When I slap the cuffs on this guy and he gets 25 to life, while I'm home all warm and cozy in my bed, that's when you'll see some jealousy. <laughs> well, yeah, unless there's some uh, roaches I don't know about. Miles, this place is beautiful. Thanks, babe. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> like it? I love it. <laughs> so, how many bedrooms does it have? Uh, last time I checked, eight. Eight bedrooms for one person? Now, why would you buy a house with eight bedrooms? I need some extra closet space. I'm playing, I'm playing. You're so wrong. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Oh, even the kitchen is sick. You cook? I do a little something, you know? Maybe you come over one night and put something together for you. OK. So this big house for one person? I don't use all this space. I usually end up sleeping on the couches half the time. <laughs> Yo, I always pass this place, but I've never actually eaten. Yeah? I hope you're hungry, because the food here is amazing. Oh, my goodness. No, I know. You got to get it. I got to take this one. I'm sorry. Yo. Hey, what's buzzing, cousin? Hey, what's going on, man? What's happening? I'm just trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents, you know. So, hey, did you fire off that package? Oh, yeah, man. That's me on your desk by tomorrow morning, probably around 10 o'clock. Man, I like your style, Miles. So you all locked and loaded on your end, right? Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Everything's set up just the way we planned it, man. I got y'all all hooked up, man, so I'll see y'all in a couple of weeks. One love, baby. What do you make of this, Brian? You ever hear of this guy T before? Can't say that I have. Where'd the call come from? Cell phone outside of Ohio. Could be one of his clients, maybe even a connection. That would be my guess. This is good, right? <laughs> yeah. Real good. Do you have to go? Because yeah, I would no. totally understand. Oh, no, 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 no. You know what? Matter of fact, <laughs> let me turn this phone off right now so we can enjoy our dinner. Don't you dare, Mom. No, no, it's OK, really. Yo, it's clearly business. Like, I would never ask you to do that. You know what? That's dope. I mean, you know, a lot of women, they, they'd be like, you know, you're being rude or, you know, could you turn that off? <laughs> Anyways, so did the stock market get you all of this, the house, the cars, the jewelry, or did you, like, run into some amazing family fortune? <laughs> Actually, I like to keep my hands in a lot of different things, you know. Right now, I got a string of shows that I'm doing right here in the Bay. Matter of fact, I'm doing three shows. I got one in uh, Frisco. One in uh, Oakland, and I'm doing one right here in San Jose. Wow, Miles, that's that's exciting. You know, I was thinking, um, I don't know, maybe you might want to come hang out with me for a couple of the shows. You ain't got to go to all of them, but you know. Mr. Miles, are you asking me on another date? Well, I think I am, Miss Vanessa. <sighs> I'd love that. Well, then it's a date. Look, Miles, I really had a good time tonight. <laughs> you know, I really did, too. I'm not just saying that. Me neither. <laughs> had a great time. Yo, I still cannot believe you spent all this money on this big house to live in it by yourself. Really? You know, well, maybe one day I'll find somebody to, you know, fill it. I mean, does it really make a difference if I get the house first and then find somebody special to share with? I, mean, I guess not, no. Silver convertible, huh? Yep. And? You want to hear a funny story? Sure. So a few weeks ago, I'm driving, and I, I come to this stop sign, and I look over at the intersection, and I see this convertible. But what really caught my eye was this, this beautiful woman who was driving. I mean, she had, like, Long, beautiful black hair, kind of like yours. 
She was wearing these shades, these, these really hot shades. I mean, I was, I was on her. I felt like I had to catch her. So I, you know, I, I get in pursuit. <laughs> I'm holding up traffic. I'm bobbing and weaving in between cars. Anyway, make a long story short, I get pulled over by police. But you know what really, really bothered me? What? Was that I didn't get a chance to meet her. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to know who she was. What kind of car did you say this was? Um, hmm. Silver convertible Sebring. Hey, the guy you just met? Yes, he's right? in. Don't Where? say his name so loud. He's gonna hear you. Girl, he is so fine. Oh, he sure is. I, I so hate you right now. <laughs> well, don't just stay there. Go over there and talk to him. We all know he didn't come here to buy a Jesus bumper sticker for his family. Go. Go. Hey, you. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing here? When I was in the neighborhood, thought I'd stop by and surprise you. Well, I am surprised. <laughs> I love the spot. What kind of store is this? Thank you. We are a faith-based product store. Okay. So, uh, I guess there's a pretty big uh, market for this uh, church stuff, huh? That's right. Aw, they look really cute together. She looks really happy. Yeah, I know. Her last boyfriend was such a jerk. We have, like, a bunch of T-shirts and, you know, books and CDs that are Christ-like themed. Stuff like that. And these are all Christian artists? That's right. This dude right here looks like a real rapper. Come on, Miles, he is a real rapper. He just, you know, raps about the Lord. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I mean, look, this dude looks like a gangster. And the music that was playing when I came in made me feel like I wanted to stage die. <laughs> yeah, you never listen to Christian music? Nah, I mean, well, you know my mom used to play like Elvis Presley gospel albums on Sunday, but <laughs> other than that, nah. Well, yo, I am about to hook you up with some really, really hot Christian music. Hold on a second, I'm gonna get you some CDs. Okay. T-bone, bonafide. What you got for me? All right, so I hooked you up with some really hot CDs. Trust me, you have to listen to this, Miles. You're really gonna like it. If you say so, I'm gonna tell you. Consider it a gift from me to you. Oh, okay, <laughs> I love gifts. Oh, look, look, I got a uh, birthday party that I'm going to tonight. Um, you wanna go? A party? Yeah. I might be able to, you know, swing it. All right, how's 7 o'clock sound? All right, cool. You pick me up at my spot, and then you can meet my family. Meet the family? This is getting serious now, huh? Oh, please. They don't bite. Sure about that? Yes. All right, I'll see you at 7. Oh, my gosh. That cute, right? He's going to meet my parents tonight. Um, I'm here to pick up Vanessa. Figures. Vanessa, somebody's here for you. Mom, have you seen my phone charger? Hey, you must be Miles. Hi, I'm Jalissa, Vanessa's younger sister. Who are you guys yelling around here? You're killing me right now. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Loud as can be. Well, it was nice meeting you. You too. Hello, I'm Miguel Leon, and you are? How you doing, Miss Leon? I'm Miles Montego. Wow. Miles Montego sounds like a secret agent name. Man of mystery. Oh, well, sorry to disappoint, but no mystery here. What you see is what you get. Honey, this is Miles. He's here to pick up Vanessa. Oh. You're Miles? Uh, yeah. Last time I checked. Nice to meet you, Miss Leon. And what church do you go to, Miles? Wow. Well, I'm, I'm kind of uh, 
looking for a new church right now. Oh. And what is it that you do? Honey, enough drilling already. Well, I just want to know who our daughter's hanging out with. All right, well, I see you've met everyone. We're going to head on out, you guys. Good night. Love you, Dad. Bye. Bye. It's nice meeting you. I want you to possess my body. What's that? What's that? Can it really be? Is it Miles Montego? Yeah, what yeah, up, baby? yeah. What's happening? Uh, uh, Montego, uh, where, yeah. man? I thought wait, you wait, left the country. Okay, you lucky okay, you showed see, up, I homie, see. man. I was going to go straight to your house from here, boss. You know <laughs> I wouldn't have missed that for nothing, man. Appreciate that. Fellas, I want you to meet my my new lady right here. This is Vanessa. Vanessa, that's Chris. That's Wiki, Percy. And this one right here, that's my right <laughs> hand, man, Marty. Hey, Marty, it's such a pleasure to meet you guys. You know, Miles talks about you guys all the time. Yo, let's go inside and get some drinks, man. Let's do it right. Come on. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, don't let me see you right here again. You all right, baby? Yeah. Now, boots, man. You always up to something, man. What's going on? Nothing much, man. All right, all right. Hey, homie. You see you looking sharp, man. You look good, damn, bro. Your is so beautiful. Hey, what's up, Miles? Hey, Jerry, what's going on, baby? You what's up? All the fame in it this year. You know how we do it, man. Definitely, man. Congrats to you, Jerry. Really, man, really. Hey, thanks, Miles. Oh, Vanessa? This is Jerry Rice, one of the greatest receivers to ever play the game. Jerry, this is my girl, Vanessa. I know who he is. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Rice. Oh, Jerry, please, and it's my pleasure to meet you. I want to wish you guys a good night, but also, Miles, I don't want you to forget about those tickets for that show. Oh, Jerry, come on, I got you, baby. And Vanessa, it's really nice to meet you. Pleasure meeting you. Yo, babe, you know Jerry Rice? Oh, yes. Jerry's a good dude. I love him. Hey, my dad is gonna trip out when he finds out I met Jerry Rice. Hey, how are you? Ladies, I want you to meet my baby Vanessa. Vanessa, this is Nicole, Jasmine, that's Simone, and this is Shanice. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> hey, yo, what's good, Chico? Let's have some shots, man. Oh, uh, not tonight, Marty, man. I'm driving. Not tonight, man. It's my birthday, homie. I mean, that's why we all here celebrating. I mean, just one shot, man. All right, maybe later. Man, I remember that one time. He was hanging out the window with guns blazing like a madman, like, blah, 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 blah. Hey, Vanessa, you don't even know, Ma. Miles Montego, sitting with a real legend, Ma. I seen my man. Let's go get that shot on me. Yeah, yeah. So, Vanessa, is everything they say about Miles true? About what? You know. Um, I'm not trying to keep you girls in suspense, but I wouldn't know. You mean you two haven't slept together yet? <laughs> Look, we're just trying to, you know, take it slow, that's all. Nice and slow. Are we talking about the same miles here? <laughs> so what, you trying to make me look like a psycho or something? She ain't trying to hear all that, man. She looked like she's impressed. Do me a favor, tone it down. Tone it down, man. Wow, that was quite an evening. <sighs> Babe, I'm so sorry. I thought they'd act way cooler. Man. You don't have to say you're sorry. Everybody has a past. We all do. Yeah. You know you can talk to me about anything, right, baby? Yeah. Look, I got a past, baby. One I'm not particularly proud of. And if you were to hear about it, I don't know. I feel like you might not want to see me no more. That kind of scares me, babe. Miles, what's the matter? Look, I know this great little restaurant. Great coffee, best pie in town. I mean, if that's all right. Sure. Let's go.
What's wrong, Lydia? Please go to sleep. Sleep? How can you sleep when our daughter's out with that... that... That boy. He's a boy, Lydia. Well, I got a really bad vibe from that so-called boy, Miguel. He doesn't seem her type. According to you, she'll never have a type. Please go to sleep. I promise me you're gonna have an open mind, not freak out on me. I promise. What'd you think about my friends tonight? They look like gangsters and drug dealers. That's because they are, V. I mean, they're not like mafia or anything, but they live that lifestyle. And to be honest, I used to live just like them. In fact, they all used to work for me. you doing what here we go thank you Fox, let me know if there's anything else you need yep. thank you work for you doing what i used to be a drug dealer vanessa and those guys you met tonight that was my crew and basically we was into any and everything Miles, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Look, I don't talk about it because I'm not proud of it. I mean, I don't know how I did it. I don't even know why I did it. I just did. But I can honestly say I'm, I'm a better man from all of that. Wow, Miles. Well, about your friends, baby. The Bible says that bad company corrupts good character. You really think this is a wise idea, still hanging out with these guys when they do what they do? Those are my friends, V. I mean, those dudes, they're like my family. And I could count on them for anything. Look, I've been trying to tell these guys there's other ways to make legal money. I mean, I spent the last two years of my life just trying to wash and shake all that off. Shake it off, huh? Look, I'm not this perfect guy, V, but I'm trying. Miles, that was a mouthful. To be honest with you, babe, it almost sounds like a testimony of someone who's had their life turned around by God. Thank you for even wanting to share that with me. Am I okay with it? I don't know about all that. Does it make me want to pull away from you? No. If anything, it makes me want to get closer to you. Would it be wrong to say I'm falling in love with you? I'm falling in love with you, too. <laughs> well, since you just had the floor, Scarface. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Scarface now, huh? Yeah, it's my turn now. Baby, do you know what equally yoked means? What do you mean, like eggs or something? <laughs> no, silly. In the Bible, God refers to our spirits as equally yoked. So, in order for you and I to be equally yoked, it means that we have to feel the same way about each other and God and put Jesus in the center of this relationship. Now, do you think you can do that? I mean, it sounds like a whole lot, babe, but... I care about you enough to give it a try. Good morning, sunshine.
So it's the big weekend, eh, Miles? Yeah, I hope so. So these are your events? Yeah, well, you know, I got a few partners, but yeah, for the most part. Well, we'll say a prayer for you and your shows tonight. Thanks, Mr. Leon, I appreciate it. Everything's great. The groups are checked into the hotel. Sound check's going on right now. You got yourself a sellout. That's what I'm talking about. Oh not how I act, talk, or any of that. You were amazing today. Amazing. Like, honestly, I was so impressed with just the way the whole show came together. Really? Yeah. I'm glad you liked it, baby. Loved it. Well, we should get some rest, because tomorrow's going to be a long day. Yeah. <sighs> Where are you going? Oh. See, you can lay back down. See, because Mr. Montego, you have the sofa tonight. Me, I have the king size bed. <laughs> Love ya. Don't forget to say your prayers. I take them in every color. <laughs> yeah, we should take a little break and actually get something to eat. Yeah? You hungry? I know a spot up here. It's nice. Keyword break. I'm not done. Yeah, got I'm not done shopping. Ain't that right? something. Celine. Where have you been? I've been calling and calling. I just, uh, I've been ripping and running. You ready, babe? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, v, this is Celine. Celine, this is Vanessa. Oh, how do you do? Fine. Celine's an old friend of mine. Really? Okay, well, babe, the kids are ready, and you know, the jet is waiting. Wheels up at six. It was nice meeting you. Kids waiting. Rules of S6. Where'd you get all that from? I watched the E channel. Did you sleep with her? Yeah. I shouldn't have even asked. So what is she? Women. Do it. Open 
Lock the door and get down. Oh my God. Yeah, my God. Oh. Is there a problem here? Jesse, is there a problem here? Man, just shoot him. I'll shoot this punk. No, 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 no. Ain't nobody gonna get shot tonight. What we're gonna do is, Jesse, you're gonna get in your car and you're gonna get out of here. You hear what I'm saying to you? Get in your car and get out of here! Say Nova, punk. See you around, homie. at the spot and make sure nobody follows you right. Baby, are you all right? Are you okay? Baby! No, I'm not okay, Miles. Who were those guys? Were they trying to kill you? Look, baby, just relax. Just relax. It had nothing to do with me. Look, I was just trying to defuse the situation. That's it. It had nothing to do with you. It was between Martin and whoever that guy was. So what am I supposed to do, babe? Huh? Leave him out there alone, let some dude come blow his head off? Is that what you're telling me? think so, baby. So you're just willing to give up everything, including your own life, for something that had nothing to do with you. Yeah. And they would do the same for me, baby. Look, a few years ago, this whole thing would have turned out a lot different. I was just trying to get us out of this safe, baby. That's it. Really? Would you like to tell me why there was a gun in your car? Baby, it's like I told you. Whenever I do shows like this, there's always large amounts of cash around. You know that, you see it, look! What do you want me to do? Listen, I know this whole situation, everything is all new for you. But you gotta understand, babe, when it comes to protecting you, my family, my friends, I'll do anything, babe. You understand that? I thought I was gonna lose you. Really, Miles? I don't ever want to feel like that again, ever. Promise me I won't ever lose you. I promise. I ain't going nowhere. You understand me? Give me your hands. Heavenly Father, we come before you. We thank you, Lord, for getting us through a hard day of work, but most of all, for protecting us. Lord, we ask that you would continue to show Miles that you are always there with us. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. We got you a little something. We hope that you'll not only use it, but enjoy it as well. Wow. I mean, y'all really don't have to do none of this. This is this is too much for me right now. Go on, Miles, open it. I know. Hurry up. Okay, okay. <laughs> let me let me let me open this. Get out of here. You guys got me my own Bible. <laughs> Look, it's got my name on it and everything. Let me take a picture. Love it. Miles, you need to understand something. We have done everything we can to raise all of our children in the ways of the Lord. Now, the Bible says that we should pray for our children's spouses from early in their lives. Well, we have been praying for a godly man for Vanessa. Miles, are you that godly man?
don't know. figure out who you really are. That she has no idea. I see you're working late again. I told you we had a solid case, right? So if they're working late, we gotta be working late. If there's something there, you'll find it. Tomorrow. I don't think I'll be able to make it. What's the matter, babe? You all right? No, Miles, I'm not all right. Look, just tell me what the problem is. There is no problem, babe. I just got some things I got to take care of tomorrow, that's all. We all have a lot of stuff we have to do. You're always going to have a lot of things you have to do. Look, I'm going to put aside the fact that my entire family is expecting and that, hey, I'd actually like you to come to church with me. And what I'm really concerned with is what the real issue is. Why don't you just tell me? There's nothing to tell. Really, there's nothing to tell. Look, I'm not even buying that. What is so bad about going to church? Well, God don't want somebody like me in this church, OK? What are you smiling about? <laughs> Look, babe, I'm not trying to belittle your feelings. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. You're just so off. Like, so off. And to be honest, I'm a little relieved. Because I thought you were actually keeping something from me, something ugly. I won't be getting all happy just yet. But I haven't told you why I feel this way. It doesn't matter. God doesn't care about what you've done in your past. What you're in the middle of right now, he just wants you to come as you are. You sure about that? I'm positive. Look, the Bible says, what causes a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Baby, I don't want you to lose your soul. And once you really get to know God and his word, you'll see that that book is better than life. Better than the cars, better than the money. For a man like you, even better than... Better than what? Look, please, better than sex. <laughs> yes, I said it. Yeah, this must be a great hey, book. Hey, why uh, did you say ain't it? Ain't too many things uh, Hey, we're talking than... about God. Better than anything. <laughs> Don't get crazy. I love you like something You ready, babe? Yes, it's crazy though. This is like a sold out show. This is the best show on earth. <laughs> it's free. The feeling that I get, it's a Sunday kind of love. Like a classic gospel song. You just have to sing along. I wish that every day was yeah. Sunday. Oh, happy day. The darkness gave way to the light that shines. Come on, babe, let's go. Good morning, Vanessa. How are you doing today? I'm good, Jerry. Jerry, this is my boyfriend, Miles. Hey, pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Jerry. Hey, I'll, I'll seat you with your parents. Follow me. Oh. Hey, what's the tip this guy? <laughs> no, babe. He doesn't get paid. He's a greeter. This is his way of serving the Lord. Hey, 
Miles. Good to see you. Good to see you too, Mr. Bell. How you doing, Mr. Bell? Good morning. Who's that? That's Pastor Galley. He's our worship leader. He's a pastor? offering thing goes later. I'm wonderful. How are you? Fantastic. It was an awesome worship. I loved it. I had a great time, too. The spirit was really moving, oh, right? Oh, it was in me. It was, it was everywhere. I'll see you on Thursday at rehearsal. Don't be late. Yes, I'll see you then. All right, Ma. See you. Hey, Pastor Galley. Yes, how are you, Ma? Ma. Pastor Galley, this is my boyfriend, Miles. Miles, Pastor Galley. Miles, oh. you got some church in today, huh? Ha, uh, yeah, it wasn't what I was expecting, but it was good. That's right, that's right. So you really like a, like a pastor, huh? I mean, like a real pastor. As opposed to like an imaginary cartoon pastor? <laughs> nah, that's not what I meant, man. I mean, you don't really look like a pastor. I don't, huh? <laughs> so what's a real pastor supposed to look like, Miles? I don't know, man. I mean, look at you, man. Your clothes, your jewelry. You kind of tight to death yourself there, Miles. <laughs> yeah, but... I don't drive no Lambo, Pastor. Lambo, huh? I recall pulling into the parking lot and passing a four-door black Bentley that I've never <laughs> seen here before, and I'm assuming that's yours, man. Yeah, but I ain't no pastor. True that. But the last time I read the Bible, it said nothing about style being a sin. It kind of goes back to that old saying that you cannot judge a book by its cover, you heard? Yeah, I dig. So what made you want to be a pastor anyway? Well, God had a calling on my life, Miles. And as much as I tried to avoid that call, I couldn't avoid it anymore. Here I am. It's got a calling in your life, too, on everybody's life. But you got to answer the phone when he calls, you dig? A calling, huh? A calling. I tell you what, we'll talk more about that in the future. I'd love to see you around here a little bit more. All right. You have yep. a blessed Sunday tonight. Mwah. Such good worship today, by the way. Praise God. Miles? Pastor. It was a pleasure. <laughs> Pleasure's all mine, Spencer. Hope you two bought your appetites because your mother cooked enough for an army. <laughs> it looks good, too, Mom. So you got Miles to go to church? Mm-hmm. Just this Sunday. I cannot believe this. Vanessa, you are an angel from heaven. You just don't know how hard I've been praying for this boy. Ooh, you and I both. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's say grace. Dear Lord, thank you for the food we are about to receive, for the nourishment and health of our bodies, for our wonderful son, Miles, and for bringing the beautiful Vanessa into our lives. She is truly an angel from heaven. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Now, Vanessa, honey, don't you be afraid to crack the whip on this side. <laughs> <laughs> if he gives you any trouble, you just let us know. We'll straighten him out. All right, I like the sound of that. Let's eat. Thank you. 
big dog. Sorry, let me tell you something, man. Don't ever have me waiting like that ever again. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. And here. 125K, man. Nice and neat, just like you like it. Right here, man. Get out of here. Get out of my car. All right. See you soon, Mark. Yeah, whatever. Gotcha. Babe, I got a question. What's up? Have you considered, you know, taking that walk of faith during the altar call? Babe, I don't know you're lying. What? I, I'm still trying to figure this whole thing out. I mean, I know it's a God, and I'm supposed to act a certain way and everything, but to be real, babe, I'm still researching this whole salvation thing. I mean, I just want to dive into it. Does that make any sense to you? Yes. It makes perfect sense, babe. I get it. I will say this, though. What would you say? I feel real good when I'm in church. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it feels like everything's moving in the right direction, you know? Mm -hmm. But then I get to thinking, if, if God is this all-loving, all-seeing, all-being God, then why does he allow things to happen like rape, murder, war? Like, I, that part I don't understand, babe. See, you clearly have been giving this a lot of thought. Well, yeah. I mean, just the other night, I'm sitting in bed and I'm watching this program, and mm -hmm. this Muslim speaker's speaking, and he's talking about the book that they read, the Quran. Okay. And he's basically saying that, you know, they believe that Jesus existed, mm -hmm. but that he was only a prophet. And then he started getting in all these scientific facts that <laughs> exist in the Quran that, you know, scientists didn't even discover. I thought it was, I thought it was really, really interesting. All right, well, how did it make you feel? To be honest, I don't know. It's a lot to swallow, babe. All right, well, whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. What a special time of year this is. To think that God would become flesh and dwell among us, that ought to fill our hearts with joy. <laughs> Vanessa, honey, it was so nice meeting your family. Thank You're you. all so beautiful. And with such pretty daughters as you three, so no wonder your father turned to the Lord. <laughs> Man must spend a lot of time on his knees. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Look, Mom, Dad, me and V want to give y'all a little something. We know y'all been trying to, you know, get away for quite some time, so we got y'all something you think y'all might like. Oh, uh, wait a minute, son. What is it? <gasps> Sandals Resorts! Look at this place! Oh, my gosh. It's the one we saw in the commercial. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this, honey. Son, this is beautiful. But you shouldn't have. Oh, come on, Pop. You and Mom been trying to get away for years, so this is our gift to you. Baby, I love it, and I'm so glad to finally get to go to Sandals. <laughs> Sandals. Here we go. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Mom. Oh, Merry Christmas. Oh, Mom. Listen to this. How much more pleasing is your love than wine? Sweetness as the honeycomb, my bride. Milk and honey under your tongue. Your two breasts are like two fawns. I slept, but my heart was awake. Listen, my lover is knocking. My head is drenched with dew. I've taken off my robe. Must I put it on again? My lover thrust his hand through the latch open. Now, that sounds like late-night HBO to me. Oh, tough. If you could hear 
how you just read that. Read it how it's reading. That's right, what it right, is. Babe. Okay, are you trying to say that the Bible says that it's okay to have sex? Babe, I don't know what the Bible's saying. I, I guess I'm just trying to figure this all out. That's all. Babe, I can almost assure you that these people that they're talking about are married. Now, the Bible says you can totally enjoy your spouse sexually. Now, how did you interpret it? You know what? I'm sorry I brought it up. Let's forget no, it. No, no, that's a good thing. It's good that's that we discuss good. these things. Let's forget it. It's important to discuss the word of Drop God. It. Dro really? Really? What's up, baby? Where you been at, man? Ain't seen you around in a minute. Just been ripping and running, baby, you know? Ripping and running. And you all right, Mouse? Do I look all right? I mean, not really, but if you say so. Hey, where's Vanessa at? Nah, I don't know, man. She around somewhere. She just ain't here with me, you know? So what, you ready to party with your boys tonight, then, or what? You know what? Let's do that, man. Drinks around me tonight, man. I ain't been with y'all in a minute. Let's, let's do what we do. Let's do it. Oh, keep it coming all night, man. Got it? Okay, I'll be back. All right, baby, thank you. Hey, yo, Miles, what's going on with you, man, for real? With what? With what? With you, homie. I mean, we don't ever see you around no more, dog. And when we do, it's never without Vanessa. You say that to say what? Look, dog, I'm just saying, man. You ain't nowhere near your normal self. To be honest with you, man, me and the fellas is just concerned about you, man. That's all. Look, I just need a little vacation. That's all. I'm good. Look, dog. Me and you go back, man. We go back further than all these cats right here. And if there's one thing I know about you, the only thing that can get you off your square is a girl. So if you need to talk about it, for real, I'm right here like I always been, man. I'm all ears. But if not. That's cool too, man, because I got something else that can get your mind off there. You feel me? Hey, yo, ladies, ladies, come on in here. Let's get this thing wisdom. Let him ask of God. I'm so sorry, guys. It's Miles' dad. Hello? Vanessa, it's Caesar. Hi, Mr. Montego. How are you? Not good. It's Miles' mom. She's very ill. Thank God you're here, son. Hey, Pop. How you doing? 
I came as soon as I could, Ma. How you doing? Look, baby. I'm sorry. I ruined the trip. The trip? What are you talking about trip? Don't worry about that. Okay? You just concentrate on getting well. How you feeling? She's under a lot of medication right now. Let's let her rest. Don't worry, son. It'll be all right. Okay. My son, I need to talk to you. Come on. Well, son, it's not good. Good at all. How? And how does somebody go from perfectly healthy to dying overnight? It wasn't overnight. Apparently, your mother has lived with this for years, and you know your mother and doctors. There's no way to know. <laughs> your mother always thought that an aspirin could fix everything. What do we do now? They said the best thing to do is to try to help her feel comfortable. But Miles, right now, I need you to be strong for your mama. Okay? Yeah, Pop. Good. I'm so sorry. I can't even imagine what you're going through right now. Look, V, I, I want to explain something to you. Miles, you don't have to explain anything. I, I know this is not the right it's time. It's not the right time. Just listen to me. I don't, I don't know what's going on right now, but I've, I've never felt like this. It's like, it's like I'm feeling guilt, shame. It's like I, I don't know, I don't deserve anything. All at the same time. Then I get confused about what I think God is telling me. I never feel like I'm doing the right thing, babe. I want you to understand, sir. Look at me. I want you to know that nothing happened that night. Miles, you don't have to. Hey, babe, just. I love you. I love you. I would never do anything to hurt you. Is that the whole truth, Miles? No question, babe. I believe you, baby. Vanessa, I need you to do something for me. Anything you ask me to, I'll do it. Don't cry. Just listen. I need you to take care of Miles for me. I know there's a reason why you two met. God has something special for you two. God knew that the only way to his heart was through a woman like you. Beautiful. Wonderful, godly woman. Please don't ever give up on him. If you really love him, I do. I really do.
big wedding and lots of grandbabies, okay? Ma, don't do this right now. I'm gonna be fine. No, Miles, I'm not. So I need you to keep seeking the Lord. He's the answer to all your problems. He's got big plans for you, baby. Big plans. My love. She's really tired right now. Get some rest. It's been a long day. Ma. Ma. Assist her with our prayers. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Looks like a nice party. Have a little respect for the dead, Brian. You want to send some flowers? I just don't see the point in keeping an eye on him while he's here. I don't buy this. You don't get to be where a guy like that is and just flip it off. This guy's smarter than the average crook. This could all be a smoke screen. Maybe. You believe in God, Brian? Oh, don't go getting all religified on me, Jason. <laughs> Do you go to church? Yes, sir. Every week, wife and kids, Bible study, the whole nine yards. <laughs> you do, huh? Why didn't I know that? You never asked. Miles? I just wanted to tell you that I am so sorry for your loss. Your mother was a beautiful woman. I saw the look on her face and felt the warmth of her heart when she saw you in church. I'm sorry if I haven't always been the easiest person when it comes to you. I want you to know I'm always praying for you. Remember. You may not always understand why God does certain things, but I can promise you that it's all part of one big plan for your life. Just know that this family loves you. Well, thank you. It means a lot to me. Hi, Miles. I hope you have an open heart and mind about this. I really love your daughter. I mean, she means the world to me. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. I want to marry her. I mean, with your permission, of course. It'd be an honor to have you as part of this family, Miles. Do you think you're truly ready for this, Miles? Well, I know I got a long way to go, Miss Leo. 
But no one's gonna love or treat Vanessa the way I can. So, yeah. I'm ready. So you ready for your big birthday surprise? Yes, but seriously, you're crazy. Come on, we could have done something super simple like dinner. <laughs> it ain't too late. We could always cancel. You know Jimmy's over 24 hours. <laughs> That's what we won't be doing. Come on, let's go. flight plan of that last private jet that went out, please. I'm sorry, sir. That information is confidential. It's okay. I'm Mr. Confidential. Look back. Look out this window. You know what I see? What? <laughs> I see God, baby. I mean, only he could have created all this. I look out, I see a world with no limits. With the right drive and hustle. Anybody could have anything and everything they want. It's been a rough couple of months for me. I learned a lot. Yeah? Like what? Well, I learned I'm not as in control of things as I thought I was. I learned that life can be taken away from you just like that. I learned that God is really and truly in control of all this. The most important thing I learned that I never want to be alone. I never want to be away from you again, babe. We 
we here? Yo. Hey, yo, Miles, man, listen, don't say nothing, okay? Just listen. We got hemmed up, dog. Me, Percy, Chris, Wiki, all of us, man. We locked up right now. You gotta be kidding. Man, does this sound like I'm kidding, dog? Listen, and to top it off, it's the feds that got us. The feds? Yeah, man. They said our bell at half a million right now. Man, what you want me to do, man? Look, dog, I need you to get us out of here right now. All right, I'm on it. So what happened? Man, they came at us hard, Miles. I mean, real hard. Feds all over the place, SWAT cars, guns. They took us all down to different places, man. It was not good. They charge you with something? It's the charges. Man, the indictment had all kinds of stuff in it, man. We're still trying to figure it all out. What about the spots? I mean, was anybody dirty? They find anything? Nah, man, but I'll tell you this. They tore my spot up real good. And thank God the only thing they found was a gun. Mine too, man. They left that joint a mess, dude. Yeah, man, them dudes bust a door down, dog. They act like they was looking for Bin Laden or something, man. Man, check this out, man. They got some of my people, but I got my lawyer on it. Says he won't know nothing for a few days till he gets the reports back, but they was pressing us really hard, Miles. Press? About what? About you. About me? Man, look, this guy told me I could get up and leave right then and there if I told him something juicy about you. Yep. Told me the same thing. This Agent McDaniel dude, he got it real bad for you, Miles. Yeah, that's real talk, Miles. Man, they off to take me right back to my house, man, and forget like any of this even happened. What would you say? Man, I asked him if I could get ESPN in my cell, man. <laughs> <sighs> and what about you? You really got to ask me that, Miles? After everything we've been through, I think they was just fishing for something and trying to use me and all the fellas as bait to get at you. I'm bugging. My bad. <sighs> just stay out there wait so we can figure this out. I feel you. Thanks a lot, Mom. Thank you. All, man. Hustle it up, man. Come on. Oh, not one of these guys gave us anything on Miles. Not one, sir. I'm surprised. I thought that little guy Chris would have talked. Maybe there's nothing to tell, Chief. What are you saying? That Miles is some squeaky clean choir boy now? Maybe. Just get this guy. Let's move out. Man, Pastor, I'm sorry. She's usually on time for everything. Hey, don't worry about it, Miles. Listen, we spend half our days waiting on the Lord and the other half waiting on our wives. <laughs> hey, don't, don't tell her I said that to you, though. I won't, I won't. Excuse me, Pastor, I gotta take this. Hello? Miles, it's Alyssa. Hey, Alyssa, what's up? Vanessa's been in a car accident. What happened? Her car was hit by a truck that ran a red light. How is she? She's not well, Miles. She's still in surgery. Mr. and Mrs. Leon? Well, here's where we're at, folks. She has internal bleeding, suffered severe head trauma. She's in a coma. Is she, is she gonna be all right, Doc? I mean, is she gonna live, right? Only time will tell. We've done all we can for her. We just need to see how her body reacts to the procedures and hope for the best. Hope? Hope? Well, you say hope and they say pray. I mean, can we all get on the same page here, at least? Take it easy, son. Take it easy. You said you did all you can for her, Doc. Yes, we have. You sure about that? Miles, please, calm down. It's in the Lord's hands now. It's in the Lord's hands. I'm tired of hearing it's in the Lord's hands. 
I heard that when my mother died. It's in the Lord's hands. Look, I'm sorry. But somebody else needs to step in and take the wheel here. Because it seems like he is out to lunch. Look, I promise you, I'll do everything I can to save her life. You have my word. I'm sorry. There's somebody I gotta go talk to. Miles, wait! Good. I'm glad you're here. Because we got some serious issues to talk about. First of all, you took my mother from me. And that just about killed me. But I kept my mouth shut and let that one slide. I've done some bad things to people for a lot less. But I've been trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. I've been faithful. I've been going to church, reading your precious little book. I even drop stacks of hundreds every Sunday in that little velvet bag they pass around. I've changed. I'm a changed man. Can't you see that? Well, my bad. Of course you can. You see everything, right? So what's the problem then? What do you want from me? I know I haven't made you proud. How could I with all this mess I got going on? What happened? What happened to all the things I've been reading about? Grace, forgiveness, mercy. Where was the mercy for my mother? Now you want to take Vanessa from me? Nah. That ain't gonna happen, big guy. Look, I'm a stand-up guy. If anybody needs to pay for their sins, and let it be me. Please, just leave everybody else out of it. Just take me. I'm ready for whatever you got coming. You want to send me to hell? Book the flight! But please, please, I'm begging you, don't take Vanessa from me. Just tell me, but whatever you want me to do, tell me what you want me to do to spare her life. I didn't mean a word I just said, Lord. I'm sorry for yelling at you in your house. But God, you gotta know this is rough on me. Just let me know what I gotta do to make this right. I'll do it. I surrender, Lord. I surrender. Problem officers? Turn around! Turn around! Walk backwards! Put your hands on your head. Down to your knees. Now let's just see what you're made of. You 
Mr. Montego, my name is Agent Carey. This is Agent Stokes. We are with the IRS CID. You know what that means? No. But I'm sure you're about to tell me. IRS Criminal Investigation Division. Uh, yeah. And, well, Mr. Montego, that means that we have a series of questions for you, and we would appreciate your full cooperation with them. Do you know these guys, Miles? Yeah, they're friends of mine. How good of friends? Old friends. We went to school and grew up together. Why? Is that all you did together, Miles? And what's that supposed to mean? It means that they've been indicted on drug charges. It means that we found these check stubs that show large payments made from your company to each of these individuals. It means that this looks like you're in business with these guys. And if you are, you're in a deep mess. First of all, I'm a legitimate businessman. And I don't have any legal dealings of any kind. All right, so I wrote them some checks. Last time I checked, gentlemen, that's still legal in this country. Well, that depends on why the checks were issued in the first place. I'm a concert promoter. They invested in a few shows of mine. Do you know your friend's source of income? No, and I don't really care. Well, I hate to tell you this, Miles, but their problems are quickly becoming your problems. Oh, yeah? Well, what kind of problems are those? It's a problem when you use illegally gotten funds to fund even a legit business. That makes all of its gains and assets up for grabs to us. Make me believe you, Miles. I, mean, that's I really want to believe you. Look, does it look like I'm trying to hide anything from you or anybody else? Miles, we're giving you a chance here to save yourself a long and dirty investigation that in the end can only hurt you. Fellas, if y'all want to go down this road, let's do it. I got a CPA that handles all my financial affairs. And I'm sure together with my lawyer that can answer any questions that y'all might have. So, if y'all gonna charge and arrest me with something, I suggest you go ahead and do it so I can bail out and go on with my day. But if not, <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you showed me the door. You have any luck with him? Nothing. Looks like it's bad guys three, good guys zero. Why don't I give it just one last shot? All right. Okay, everybody out. Let's go. Real smooth, aren't you? You got those guys wondering. But I think you're as dirty as sin. Yeah, sin. Isn't that what you talk about in those sweet little church meetings of yours? What happened, man? I'm not a church-going man, but I take guys like you very seriously. So let me give you the raw and uncut version. I'm gonna walk out of here. I'm gonna give you a few minutes to gather your thoughts. Then I'm gonna come back. And it's gonna be time for confession. <laughs> hey, you know confession. <laughs> I think he's clean, Chief. Who knows, he just might be that choir boy after all. We probably should just let him go.
Don't laugh at me, okay? You know I'm new to this. Dear God, what can I say? I give up. I finally figured out that you are who you say you are. And I can't do nothing without you. I know that you run this whole thing, and that everything I have really belongs to you. Including Vanessa, even my mom. Humbly asking you. No. I'm begging you, God, please. Please spare her life. Please allow her to come out of this coma and be healthy again. I'm here to do or say whatever you want me to say or do, God. I know I don't have much to offer, but what I do have is yours. Including my heart. I want you in my life. I want you in my heart, Lord. I promise. I promise to be as faithful to you as I possibly can. I love you. And I pray all these things in your name. Christ Jesus. Amen. Hmm? Hmm. Uh -huh. You awake? Yeah, guys! She's awake! Come here! Everybody come in! Me! Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. Listen, if you have your Bible, say, got it. Got it. Good. James chapter 1. This is what the Bible says. Consider it pure joy whenever you face trials of many kinds, knowing that the trying of your faith, the testing of your faith, develops perseverance in your life. And we should allow perseverance to have her work in our life because God uses that to complete us and to mature us. And I'm looking at a family here this morning who went through a severe trial, a, a beast of a trial, the Leon family. And, and you know, church, remember we all prayed for them and we asked God to do a miracle. And God did answer our prayers. And, and Vanessa woke up from her coma and, and I tell you, I just want to thank God. To God be the glory. Amen. <laughs> God be the glory. 
Now finally, the Bible says this, that, that today is the day of salvation. That now is the acceptable time to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior. And I'm just going to open up. I just like you all stand with me. And I, I really sense that there may be someone here today that would like to come forward and, and kneel before us and say, yes, I'm going to open my life up to the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm confessing Jesus as my Lord today. Anyone want to come, kneel before us, and open their life before the Lord? Excuse me, Pop. Where are you going? I'll be right back. I made a promise to somebody I need to keep. Fellas, I hope all of y'all are in the best of health and spirits. And I hope y'all staying out of trouble, because I know how y'all like to wild out. Ah, oh, man, I can't tell you how much I miss y'all. I can't imagine how hard it is in there. And as for me, man, what could I say? I guess God has a sense of humor, right? Vanessa's doing great. She sends her love. Man, so much has happened over these last couple of years. It's been crazy, but all to the good, though, you know? It's a new season, man. Finally turned in my player card and wife Vanessa. Yeah, I took the plunge. <laughs> in more ways than one. God has been so good to me, sometimes I can't even understand it. I mean, after all I did throughout my life, he never gave up on me. And if that ain't love, I don't know what is. I've even been taking these Bible classes just so I can understand him and his word a little better. Good news is that you guys are short timers now. Just a little ways to go and it's all over, yo. Just remember what we talked about on our visits. God is good and he is faithful. And I promise that he's inside those walls just as much as he is out here. I sent some money to your books already. And it should be enough to last y'all until you get out. Man, I love y'all, man. Can't wait to see y'all here in real clothes. Stakes on me, baby. Love, respect, and blessing. Miles. P.S. You guys are gonna be uncles soon, so straighten up. I don't want my kid around no knuckleheads, you dig? Shh. Okay, Mama, look. Daddy's about to preach. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Pastor Miles. And today... Today we're going to talk about change. This is my cast right here. T Bones in. I'm for me, T. No worry. Can you get out of my life? I'm joking. Sweep the leg. <laughs> let me get another round of those. Hey, Jesse, let me holler. 
Dang it. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mars Montego. You are? <laughs> Oh, Jerry, please, and it's my pleasure to meet you. But, uh, what did that look like? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we won't be doing. Oh, I can't diss Jimmy's, though, right? <laughs> I mean, you say hope and they say pray. I mean, can we get in the... My bad, y'all. Yes, I'd like to see the flight, Pat. Back to one. I'm feeling bloopers real here, <laughs> baby. Oh, hold on, I got to this. Hello? Okay, good talking to you. Y'all yeah. <laughs> embraced me, y'all loved me, and I and and I I don't know what to say. I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> to speak life over you today every person listening i want you to understand that no matter where you've been or where you might currently find yourself it's not over when god is in it there is no limit it's not over
Hello. T-Bone, come on. Come on. They told me I was innocent.